going to talk about how to find a good protein supplement. Um, if you want to know uh, why protein is important to you, then Sunita has already done a video on that, so you can check that out. Do you actually need a protein supplement? And the answer to that really is, uh, you don't need a protein supplement. It's mostly a convenience factor for people that are unable to get enough protein through their regular diet or your requirement of protein is a little high. For example, if you uh, work out a lot or if you're an athlete, then your requirement for protein might be a little bit higher. And in that case, it might be simpler and more convenient to add a protein supplement into your diet. Now, uh, there are many different kinds of uh, protein supplements out in the market. Ones that we're going to really be talking about is, is either a whey protein supplement or a vegan protein supplement because these are the most uh, popular ones uh, available. For most people, uh, if you're not vegan or if you are okay with, uh, with milk products, then a whey concentrate is probably the most economical and freely available uh, protein supplement in the market. In case you are lactose intolerant, then I would recommend that you use a whey isolate, which goes through a little bit further processing and removes the, the lactose in it. And if you're vegan, then if you prefer not to use a, a soy-based uh, supplement, then I would recommend that you go with a good vegan blend. And the reason I say vegan blend is because a lot of uh, vegan sources of protein tend to be slightly deficient in certain essential amino acids and by combining two or more sources of vegan protein, they make up for this deficiency. For example, combining a pea protein with a brown rice protein will make up for the certain deficiencies that a pea protein has. So now that you've decided whether you want to go with a whey protein or a vegan protein, how do you pick a good protein supplement out of the many that are out in the market? It's fairly straightforward really. You need to turn it around look at the ingredient label. Now, for an unflavored protein supplement, the ingredient should really read whey protein, for example, and maybe an emulsifier like soy lecithin or a sunflower lecithin. If you're going with a flavored protein, then if it's, for example, a chocolate protein, then additionally, it might have cocoa and a sweetener of some sort, like say stevia or uh, sucralose. You don't really need anything other than these basic ingredients in a protein because keep in mind that you're buying a protein supplement for its protein and not for the other marketing hype that companies will like to sell to you like the vitamins and minerals and so on and so forth which you should be getting through your regular diet in any case so i hope these tips help you pick a good protein supplement and good luck thank you mm -hmm.